I'm Padma Lakshmi, and I'm the host of Top Chef. I've been doing the show for over a decade, and that's probably where Tyler would recognize me from. All right, Tyler, it looks like we're here. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Nice. Love you, Mom. Bye, love you. Bye. I feel a lot of anticipation. The same way my daughter probably felt the day we went to the Katy Perry concert. <laughs> you know, it's that kind of excitement. It's a fun excitement. It's kind of like a spiritual Disneyland, you know, something like that. You know, I'm really looking forward to doing this reading. I've had readings before with different people, not often, and I'm very curious to see what will come up. I don't know. I'm sure that it will affect me because I get affected very easily by these things. Hi. Hi, I'm Tyler. I'm Padma. Oh, Come on wonderful in. Wonderful to meet you. Nice oh to meet gosh, you. Gosh, you look in. super familiar to me. Oh, good. good. Nice to meet you. Are you having a good day? So far, it's oh, been great. Good. I'm excited to see what comes through today. I've <laughs> a lot coming in. Oh, yeah, already? Yeah, already. So it's been a lot. Wow. Yeah. So what I like to do is I like to just kind of scribble naturally, just kind of get a feel for your energy, mm -hmm. and then we'll touch the objects in a little bit and sure. see if anything comes in. Mm -hmm. All right. So. I'll give it a scribble. <laughs> okay, Don't know what this is, but for some reason, like on the grandma level, on your mom's side of family, for some reason, they're having me acknowledge this woman that wouldn't be your mom. Mm -hmm. And there's a feeling of like, um, I don't want to say she would fit the role of both parents, but it's kind of like, mm -hmm. I'm the one people go to. And I feel like she passed at an age appropriate time. Like she feels like she was older when she died. But giving me this reference of like passing on seems like recipe oriented as weird as it is. They're bringing up recipes. And then there's this feeling of like, these are mine. And then I pass them on to someone else. And I have to say her message with, with this is an appreciation for being honored in a, in a, like her legacy she feels has continued on in some capacity through what she taught or what she was able to share. I mean, this is not a person that I at all thought about no problem. in preparation for this. Yeah. There was a woman who lived a pretty full life, right. but passed and she kind of raised my mom. Gotcha. That's what it is, not to interrupt, but uh -huh, that's no, the, no. The, the feeling of like, this woman took on multiple roles in the way mm -hmm. this comes across. So I'm gonna keep going with her. Sure, uh, What okay. was her first name? Uh, Bala, B-A-L-A. -A. Awesome, okay. That was a big surprise. I mean, I, I loved my Aunt Bala. You know, she was a big force in a lot of our lives. My real grandmother died when my mom was 13. So she went to live with my great Aunt Bala. She taught my mom to cook and she also taught me recipes. One of the recipes that she gave me, or a couple of them, wound up in a cookbook called Tangy Tart Hot and Sweet that I published, gosh, 10 years ago. Awesome. And her recipe for cranberry chutney right. is in that book. Bala gave out the recipe for the cranberry chutney, but she was shrewd, like most Indian women. She never told you everything, so she left like a couple ingredients out. It's almost like her way when she reflects back on her life, the things that she enjoyed doing, she didn't realize the impact it was gonna have. Ah, okay. <laughs> and so it's like, now I realize that impact and uh -huh. the appreciation is immense. I'm just excited to go back and report, hey, guess who showed up? And take one sec. They're kind of shifting a little bit. So I'm going to try to see where we're going. Um, I have this man that's coming in that actually passed away kind of prematurely. This is an interesting thing. He's bringing up the diagnosis. He's giving me this feeling more of like initially, it's like there's some degree of a feeling of hope. But then there's this feeling towards the end of like, um, do you know of any men who would have died prematurely that you can think of? Anything that would have affected their brain? So like brain tumors? Yes. Gotcha, because that's literally just kind of coming in, but he's definitely brain tumor oriented in the way this is coming across. Mm -hmm. It just keeps he coming in. He died of a brain tumor. Gotcha, I'm so sorry. Did you bring any objects for the individual, the male who passed? Yeah. Awesome, perfect. There's a very distinct reference Mm -hmm. Immediately, I'm being shown like a map. They're putting pins on like multiple parts of a map. So if mm -hmm. someone takes an excursion, if someone goes on like a missionary trip, if someone like travels through a whole country in multiple mm -hmm. parts, like it's it's not the United States, it's somewhere else. So mm -hmm. okay, and is that connecting? Are you getting that from that in your hand or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very much so. The person who died early, mm -hmm. he went on a mission 
during the Serbian war. And he stopped at different points to take children and other people who were airlifted out, who had landmines explode to safety. What you're holding, can I tell you what it is? Yeah, A nun, as a thank you, gave him what's inside that pouch, which is her rosary. I'll be very, very careful. I'm just looking to be in their company for a little bit. I already know that I have a very deep connection with this person. I just miss them. He was my lover, and his name was Teddy, and we were never married, nor did we live together, but um, he was sick for a lot longer than we knew. Right. Um, he, um, I remember the phone call and I remember asking what time did he actually die because the night before I had like an alarm bell go off in my head and I called over to his house to say I can come over right away and I felt like I thought you know if hard thing. When he comes through, there's this feeling of freedom from this, not being limited to that physical state anymore. And I think that that's really important for you to know. He is okay. He is at peace. When he comes through, he has such an awareness of the love that's there for you. Is there any anything that you feel you would need to know from him that would be beneficial? Yes. Um, I want to know if I have his blessing to to be with who I'm with. Of course. Sounds good. We'll see what comes in. There's one thing popping in. 14th, 14th, 14th. So for some reason, uh, I'm kind of not sure why this is coming in, but they did put a reference on the number 14. So that typically is the 14th of a month like the one four. Okay. So they are putting an emphasis on that. And when they do that, I found from experience, it's usually either someone's birthday, death date, or anniversary in some capacity. So do you know anything on the 14th? Yes, I know someone's birthday on the 14th. Awesome. Perfect. What is he saying about that person? The way it's coming in, um, it's like, hey, no, you need to be (laughs) be like part of the group. closer to that person? Exactly, like get closer, get closer. Oh. So, but it's like referencing to separation and then like getting closer, getting closer, so. Because I'm now with, the other parent of my daughter. And that day, the 14th, is his birthday. So <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah. Because they didn't, I wouldn't say they got along when they he was alive. They right. were at opposing odds. Gotcha. So. Yeah. And you know, people change as far as who they are back then versus mm-hmm. who people are now. You know, people make growth. <laughs> I hope, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's very important to me to have Teddy's blessing. Not that I need it, but it's more comfortable to live in my skin if I have it. That person who's connected to 14, thumbs up. Like that's a a good approval, 100%. He does not want you to be alone. He doesn't want you to have a parent alone. And he's acknowledging this feeling that he will always be connected to you. But you should absolutely feel like you have permission to love who you want to love. It is important to me to go forward in life with the blessings of those who love you, whether they're here or not. Thank you for everything, sir. It's been wonderful. To have a further nudge from beyond to say, please be happy, please pay attention to this person, please be a family. And I think that is a great message.